Yo, what up, apes? So everybody is curious, what could this play run up to? All right. So with that being said, I'm going to just break down like what my math has come to. So we're going to call it 500 million shares that are available for the public to trade. And we're going to create our own synthetic uh, market cap. All right. So we're going to call it $10 a share at 500 million shares. You're looking at $5 billion, correct? All right. And likewise, as that goes up to $20 a share, you're looking at $10 billion. As it goes up to $30 a share, you're looking at $15 billion, so on and so forth. So what that would suggest is when this trade reaches $100, it's going to be 20 times that original $5 billion, right? So that puts us at $100 billion. At that number, it is one thirtieth the size of the biggest stock on the market exchange, that being Apple. Right? That trades at about three trillion dollars. So if AMC was at a hundred dollars, it would be at one thirtieth the size of Apple. Now, for some reason, call me crazy. I'm under the impression that for a short period of time, AMC will be the biggest stock per the market cap that you can purchase. All right. So it's going to be bigger than $3 trillion. All right. That would put us at about $3,000 a share. Now, keep in mind, this isn't financial advice. I'm not telling you to hold on to $3,000, but $3 trillion would be the equivalent to the biggest stock on the stock market. Now, if everybody decided that they wanted to sell Apple all at once, I'm pretty sure the market wouldn't be able to sustain that. There'd be a lot of market halls and, you know, some of the things that we're hearing about with this AMC play. So as things unfold, they're going to have to make money available to be able to cover this play. Now, I don't think it's unrealistic. I think it could go to as high as $3 trillion. I think it might be able to go a little bit higher. But let's just say it doubles that $3 trillion. That would put us at $6,000 a share. Now, I'm not fantastic at math. But that's a far cry from the $94,000 extra dollars that it would take to get to $100,000 a share. Now, I get it. If we hold, we're going to force them... How the fuck are you going to force anybody to buy something with something that they don't have? That's called fucking common sense. All right. Now, as it all breaks down, if we own our shares at $20 a share, if it were to go up to $1,000, all right, it's going to go up 50 times its money. That's a lot of money and a lot more than most of us can, you know, really turn over or save at any point in time compared to, like, what we've already put towards this play. You know, if I was able to save, you know, $20,000 towards this play, and that took me one year of my life. All right, in 50 years, that means 20000 times 50. I have the ability to make 50 years worth of income that I'd be able to save off this play if it does go to a thousand. I, I I left you with that pregnant pause because I just wanted to sit, uh, let that set into you. Now, remember when Al was telling us that, you know, it could potentially in the math suggest that it could go to a hundred thousand. That's with some party that's supposed to pay us money. See, he left you with this imagination that doesn't allow you to theoretically get to the numbers that he suggests. Which means he was a nefarious character, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was paid by the hedge funds just to come out, uh, come out and make videos like that. Just food for thought, man. Sign back in with another video. I, uh... This one, I, I just wanted to use a little bit more of my theory. I mean, if you were going to ask me, what do I think this could top out at? I'd tell you $2,500 a share to like $3,500 a share. Comfortably. 
comfortably. They're going to have to make room. The rest of the market is going to look deflated. It's also going to be another opportunity for us to hop back in. So don't get afraid of the pool. Get used to jumping in. Later, y'all.